Right, the uh, shack's a bit empty. The uh, one radio missing from there, and the other radio is missing from up there. There's the ICOM, and the Yesu is underneath uh, the chap I borrowed them off. And he's going to get them back tonight. Said I could uh, keep hold of the uh, the ICOM uh, sidebander, but just not getting much use out of it. But uh, the Yesu, he said I could borrow because he bought uh, a dual band radio to go in the truck to replace this. But the jaw bander doesn't work too well in his car, in his truck, um, but it works fine at home. So he says, can he swap back and have the uh, the Azu 2 meter only back in the truck? And uh, he said, I can borrow his new, um, is it Kenwood? Oh, I forget now. Kenwood something with a detachable screen. So that's nice of him to drop off his new radio, let me borrow it. Um, but that, that Yesu 2 meter cracking radio, if you come across one, I recommend it. Um, not so much the ICOM, still a great radio, but you know, they are getting on. Unless you uh, know a rig doctor, I would never go and buy an old radio. So, uh, the he should be a any moment. ICOM and Yasu will go in, and there's going to be a nice Kenwood dual bander to replace them. That Harspin staple was an excellent stand for the uh, the ICOM. I'll miss the Yesu, um, but by borrowing the radios, if you're fortunate enough to borrow them, you get to play before you buy. Uh, nothing worse than buying a radio, not liking it, and so on. Um, so now I know fast hand, if I come across one of these Yesus, I'm getting one. Uh, ideally, I would like uh, the 2 meter one, and I do a 70cm one separately. Uh, I'd like one of each, <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, dual banders are great. But uh, unless you've got a dual watch, like the Baofeng's got, the Baofeng dual monitor, can monitor both frequencies uh, at once. Um, I don't think the dual bander has that option. I've been trying to read up about it tonight before he's dropped it off. So we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Still got the uh, 80 channel to Eurosonic. Obviously still got the Baofeng. Here's the 12 volt power supply. Just had the Coast Guard. Uh, WR's kicked in. Um, tidied up. Got my logbook there. Um, and this one I've got. I've seen this one. Oh, yeah, all my old logbooks are going in there. Um, so as soon as I filled one up, I put it in there. That's the old logbook folder. The other one is just all the information I've got. First page is my license. Letter saying I've got the license, the actual license on the back, my pass rate, which was 20, I forget now, 23 out of 25, I think. I've got two wrong. Um, oh, sorry, three wrong. Yeah, I've got 22 out of 25. Uh, that's all the 10 codes for CB. I printed this out when I was about 15, and all the Q codes for amateur. I've had this bit of paper for about 15 years. Some random notes, outlier phonetic alphabet, some stuff from the Charlie Tangos, copy of the Morse code in case I need to refer to it, plans for my antenna, my uh, 2 meter delta loop beam, portable, uh, copy of the band plans, uh, just sort of close by in there. And I've got the instructions for my Baofeng, uh, the old amateur radio manual this thing comes out every year that's an old one foundation now book recommend buying it even if you're just on cb and radio from today just an old magazine it's floating around um so yeah trying to like organize things keep things tidy um right i'll get back to you when this radio turns up i'm gonna put a few calls out on the radio have a coffee um the only other update is that's still a mess and uh, I've got the old, uh, can't see it, over there. No, I brought in the old, uh, uh, what they're called, army storage box, Lacom storage box, I think, can't remember now. Um, I used to use it as a, a go box many, many moons ago. And I used it as a, to house all the solar stuff. And uh, all the sort of 
soon put the batteries and control panel in there and change that back into the, uh, the control panel storage facility for the solar stuff nice big chunky I think it's three meters by two by one foot sorry three foot by two foot by one foot heavy duty storage box um, again I read the history on it the other day can't see now because it's dark but it's got the stickers on it where it's been posted around it was made um, in the UK um, shipped straight over to Salisbury Plains in Wiltshire not far from here then it went over done some time in Northern Ireland and then it went over to QA and the Gulf and uh, then it and then it came back to me in Wiltshire not far from the Salisbury Plains so it's been on tour uh, it served I think probably three three active tours don't want to call them missions or wars don't want to get into that conversation but uh, it's back in Wiltshire where it was first sent so it's, it's definitely retired now uh, not far from its old training ground so it's good that it done its training went out on three tours and then uh, now it's back in Sivvy Street retired in a uh, in the M6 uh, Charlie Tango Papa Shack. Right, 2E0 MSI, I think it was. It's just been and uh, uh, collected the, I've got to remember now, the Yezu to go in his truck and swapped it for the Kenwood. I've still got the, uh, the sidebander, the icon the antique uh, that's in the house uh, I've got to bring it back out here soon um, he said just keep hold of it he's not using it um, but yeah really chuffed with the uh, the Yezu that I borrowed uh, it was 2 meters only but it's a good thing about borrowing before you buy so I now know that I do want to get 70cm uh, and the 2 meter version of that uh, Yezu so anyway now tonight just run off that battery at the moment just to test it quickly uh, I've got the Kenwood um, 707E G7, where is it? There it is, yeah. Uh, FM dual bander, Tango mic dash Golf 707. Uh, can't see the E, but I think it has an E at the end of it. Uh, detachable screen, uh, demo on the display. You can pre program the core button for set frequency. He's just programmed this in for two meters. So it does 2 meters 70 cm. Um, anti theft if you're in, it's in your car, you can leave it, take that with you, or again buy the lead and have this on the dashboard uh, or the shelf in the go box or whatever. Um, end type connection at the back for the antenna. Um, so luckily I've got an adapter for that. A little um, PSC fan on the back, a little PC fan mini one. Another back, a little look. Don't like moving stuff when it's plugged in. Um, and uh, the headphone socket, external speaker. Also, uh, the lead goes in there for programming. It's gave me this little thing. Um, it lets you get into some extra settings. So, all going well. We can have a play around with that. Uh, he said this is up for sale. If I get on with it, if it's got dual watch, because we're not sure if it's got dual watch, I might be buying it off him. Um, but I do, I would prefer two separate radios because again, uh, I say if it breaks, I've lost two bands. But if I have two separate band radios, uh, if one breaks, I've still got the other one. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if I get on with it. I might have it off him. Um, he bought this actually off Dave G. I, I can't remember now. The guy who's the repeater keeper for GB3 JB. I'll be meeting tomorrow. Um, and then at 2E0 MSI, had it the past three years in in the shack. And thought, you know, he upgraded in the shack, he'd put this in the uh, the truck. But it didn't get on with the truck. Uh, I think because it's a Land Rover, mounting problems, there's nowhere for this screen. Because it does protrude quite a bit. Uh, looks like a good radio. I'm not going to play around with it tonight. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I'm going to turn it off. There we go. <laughs> and... I'm going to go and read the book, which is about 10 times thicker than the last book I had to read uh, for the radio. So that's the Kenwood uh, Tango Mic uh, Golf 707 dual band, 2 meters and 70 cm. It's been made into wide band, as I noticed one or two on YouTube earlier had been been mentioned. It's uh, wide. Um, some radios you mustn't obviously get the facility. Uh, that's it, really. That's a little update. Apart from uh, a little tidy up. Uh, as I said earlier, on the paperwork, the rest is still a mess. 
and I didn't adjust the clock. That's still an hour fast from yesterday. Uh, didn't bother doing that one. And I'm not going to bother doing it tonight. Shutting down the station. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.